president warning its own people that they will be dealt with, quote, decisively after days of protests over the death of a woman who died while in police custody. She was 22, a woman accused of violating that country's dress code. Now Tehran is accusing the U.S. of using the protest to help weaken the country. Michael Allen, former National Security Council official under President George Bush, managing director of Beacon Global Strategies here in studio, and good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, we have been here before. How much does this situation now uh, compare to what we have seen over the past 12 years? I think this is more intense. You may recall during the Obama administration there were significant protests from the Green Movement. I don't think President Obama expressed enough solidarity with them then. And I think the Biden administration ought to look to be more aggressive and more creative in finding ways for the Iranians to access the Internet and otherwise communicate so that they might be able to organize. Because clearly, popular sentiment is against this terrible, harsh regime. The Iranian foreign minister said this, Washington is always trying to weaken Iran's stability and security, although it has been unsuccessful. Ignoring the presence of millions of people in the street and squares of the country in support of the system. I, I haven't seen that. Are we ignoring that? I haven't seen it either. And when you have to say something like, my people will be dealt with decisively, that's yes. a threat and that's something you don't really want to hear. Instead, I think the Biden administration is too eager to try and turn the page and go straight into a nuclear deal with Iran. I wish they had stayed harsher with sanctions for a longer period of time to maybe condition the Iranian regime into making meaningful compromises so that they wouldn't be such a terrible effect on the region and for the United States national security. Part of the regime's tactic is to sh shut down the Internet that you just referred to. How would we keep it operating? Starlink, which is, as I understand it, something that Elon Musk's company has offered up to Iranians. The problem is we have to figure out creative ways to get this sort of Internet in a box into the country of Iran. I hope that our intelligence community is working very hard on this. I hope our allies around the world are working very hard on this. But this is how they need we need to be thinking creatively so that they might be able to communicate with each other in order to organize against such a brutal and repressive regime. Uh, President Biden was on 60 Minutes talking about the Iran nuclear discussions. Here he is. Iran has continued to try to add extraneous issues to the negotiation that we're simply not going to say yes to. We will not accept a bad deal. The response that they've given to the last proposals put forward by our European partners have been a very significant step backwards. All right, so I was in West Virginia, so I didn't see that. That was actually Blinken, not Biden, but he is his secretary of state. Is this deal going to fizzle, or are they just going to kind of string it along for the next couple of years? I think it's fizzling despite every effort from the Biden administration to try to keep it alive. I think their philosophy is, hey, listen, if we can deal with the nuclear file over time, we'll deal with the fact that they're a state sponsor of terrorism and brutally repressive on human rights. I think that's a flawed way to look at it, but I think they're trying to keep it on life support so that the administration um, can get a so-called foreign policy win. Mm. Last question. The Green Movement, the Green Revolution in Iran started in 2009, and as you rightly point out, Barack Obama's president, but Joe Biden's vice president. Has there been any expression of regret that that administration was not more aggressive in supporting those who went into the streets then? I think that President Biden has expressed a small amount of solidarity with the Iranian people. So that's a change from the way that President Obama did it. Is it enough? I think that remains to be seen. I think that we need to put tangible ways on the ground for Iranians to be able to organize and communicate with each other so that they might be able to control their own fate. We shouldn't be for regime change. Mm -hmm. We should be for what the Iranian want. people want. But are, they, are those people that are protesting in increasing danger as the days go on and the, the regime is embarrassed? I think so. I think, remember last time they got on motorcycles and beat people mm -hmm. brutally. I think more of that is in, in, in stock. Michael Allen, it is always great to have you on. Thanks. And even better in person. Yeah, great so to see you. You're Thank welcome you to come back. Me. See you All later. Right. Thank you, Michael.